Tonight, a troubling question that is on the minds of millions of people who ride the New York subways. How could it happen that the biggest commuter system in the country had two derailments in the past week? The good news here is that nobody died, but for the MTA, so caught up in the need for money and the need to upgrade equipment, answering the troubling question is beyond important. Our N.J. Burkett speaking exclusively with a crew member on board that train that crashed about how he says he tried to desperately prevent it. I felt like I was a spectator about to watch myself be killed. Andy Valentine can't believe he's still alive. The two trains ended up wedged together and off the rails after colliding just outside the 96th Street subway station. A number one train on the right, packed with 1,000 riders, struck by the train on the left, which was empty, and being driven by a supervisor in the middle of the train. Valentine had been acting as a lookout on the lead car of that train, relaying what he sees back to the supervisor. But their signal turned red, and Valentine got on the radio. I said, slow me down, slow me down, give me a stop. What did he do? He didn't slow me down and he didn't stop. By now, the trains were leaving the station side by side like these. The passenger train had a green signal to cross directly in front of Valentine's train. And he's desperate because the supervisor isn't answering. I'm yelling now on the radio, stop the train, stop the train stop the train. And you can't get the train to stop. If he doesn't adhere to my commands, my rebel commands, uh, I'm helpless. The impact threw Valentine halfway through the car. Amid the dust and debris, he helped rescue passengers from the other train. Two dozen suffered minor injuries. No one was killed. I didn't leave that train until every passenger was off the train. I wanted to make sure everybody was Okay. Valentine's train had been taken out of service prior to the crash after pranksters pulled multiple emergency brakes. It struck the passenger train as it was being moved to the rail yard on orders from transit supervisors. The NTSB is investigating management's decisions as well as the cause of the derailment. Transport I Workers Union yes, President Richard you know, Davis questions man, that too. Hard. I can only assume that the message of service prevailed over the message of safety. And that's what management is supposed to be focused on, safety, not service. For the moment, Valentine isn't ready to get back to driving trains. Time will tell. The system needs good guys like you. My kids need their father. And I almost lost my life that day. put all my trust in the supervisor to do the right thing. And he almost took my life that day. A spokeswoman for the MTA declined to comment on tonight's story, except to say that the agency is cooperating with the safety board investigation. But two trains on the same track at the same time? No, Bill, that's not supposed to happen. Oh, boy, it's so heavy and so emotional what he got. It was a great interview. It's been through a lot. But big questions here. Mm -hmm. So what should they have done? One train at a time. It's obvious, right? Well, you know, they had that trade-off that they're making, right? Safety versus service. Most of the time, they're getting it right. Sometimes things like this happen. The safety board needs to figure out whether they made the right choice, whether they could do, you know, run the train safely yeah. and also, you know, get that train off the if tracks. The walkie talkies didn't work. That plan didn't work. Yeah, well, it depends. It really depends on a lot of factors, Bill. Yep. So uh, we're going to stay tuned to this. Keep digging. All right. Yeah, Thank bet. you very much, NJ.